neno la leo tutaliona katika kitabu cha wafalme wa pili wafalme wa pili chapter ya ine that is second kings and chapter 4 from verse 8 one day elisha went to shunem and a well to do woman was there who urged him to stay for a meal so whenever he passed by he stopped there to eat she said to her husband i know that this man who often comes to our way is a holy man of god let us make a small room on the roof and put it in a bed and a table a chair and a lamp for him then he can stay there whenever he comes to us praise the lord I repeat verse 9 and she said unto her husband I know I perceive that this is a holy man of God that passes by us continually Kiswahili nasema ya kwamba yule mwanamke akamwambia mumewe tazama mimi ninaona ya kuwa mtu huyu apitae kwetu mara kwa mara ni mtu mtakatifu wa Mungu. Bwana asifiwe. Huyu ni mama ambaye amekuwa na conviction ndani yake ya kwamba huyu mzee ambaye amekuwa akipita karibu na nyumbani kwao sio mtu wa kawaida praise the name of the lord hawakuwa wameshirikiana na mtumishi wa Mungu Elisha Elisha hakuwa amejitabulisha kwake lakini Elisha akawa anapita karibu na nyumbani mwao akienda katika shughuli zake asubuhi anapita jioni anarejea praise the name of the lord na ikafika wakati yule mama akaona ya kwamba anastahili afanye kitu kwa huyu mtu wa Mungu ili awe anapata mahali pa kuja kula na kunywa na kupumzika praise the name of the lord na kwa hivyo akaenda kwa mumewe akamuongelesha kuhusu yule mzee na akamwambia mimi ninaona ya kwamba yule mtu ambayo hupita karibu na nyumbani kwetu kila siku sio mtu wa kawaida. Kiingereza inatumia jina passive. Praise the name of the Lord. Ni uwezo wa kuona kwa macho ya undani. Praise the name of the Lord. That there is something beyond what the natural eyes can be able to see bwana asifiwe sana na kile ambacho huwa ninajifunza na habari hii ya huyu mwanamke mshunemu ni ya kwamba alikuwa na hitaji kwa sababu hakuwa na mtoto alikuwa amepata mali Mungu alikuwa amewabariki walikuwa wamenawiri katika mambo ya mali lakini ndani mwake ama ndani ya nyumbani mwao in their own environment yeye na bwanake 
walikuwa wamepungukiwa kwa jia fulani praise the name of the lord kwa sababu wamekaa hiyo miaka yote lakini hawajapata mtoto shida yao praise the name of the lord hawage ipeana kwa mtu yeyote hawakuwa na mtu wa wa kupatia shida yao hata wakati Elisha alipokuja kwao na wakati yule mama alijua ya kwamba huyu ni mtu wa Mungu hakuwa na haja ya kumwabia hakuwa na na hiyo eh, msukumo ya kumwabia hii ndio shida yetu praise the name of the lord walikuwa wamekaa na hiyo shida hadi ikawa part of them and that's why it was not a problem to them but in the heart of god it was a problem hallelujah to the woman and her husband kukosa mtoto kwao haikuwa big issue lakini in the heart of god god knew that they will never be complete they will never hallelujah be complete kama hakuna mtoto na deposa akaweka huo mzigo ndani ya mtumishi wa Mungu akamuuliza Gehazi mfanyikazi wake ama msaidizi wake akamuuliza tumekaa kwa huyu mama amekuwa mwema amekuwa mzuri ametusaidia na kila kitu ambacho tunahitaji sasa ni nini tunaweza mfanyia yule mama alipoulizwa akasema hakuna kitu ninahitaji na akasema ni kweli hakuna kitu ninahitaji lakini Gehazi alikuwa na roho ya Mungu. Alikuwa anaangalia angalia. Nadhani hizo siku alikaribishwa huko, alikuwa anachunguza chunguza. Akaona hawa watu wako na kila kitu, manyumba, magari, kila kitu iko nyumbani, lakini zile siku nimekaa sijaona mtoto hapa karibu. Inawezekana hawana mtoto. Haleluya. Na wakati alipomwambia Elisha hivyo Mungu naye akahakikishia Elisha nabii ya kwamba hicho dicho ambacho wanahitaji Praise the name of the Lord na wakamuita mama na hawakutaka kujua kutoka kwake kama ana mtoto ama hana Haleluya You know the conversation between Elisha and Gehazi it is as if they are not sure please get me clearly It is as if they are not sure whether there is no child. But at the time Elisha calls the woman anamwambia tu ya kwamba next year. Hallelujah. Wewe utapata mtoto. Ni kama alikuwa so convinced mtu wa Mungu, alikuwa so convinced na roho wa Mungu ya kwamba ni kweli huyu mama hana mtoto na anahitaji mtoto. Na kwa hivyo muujiza wa yule mama mshunemu wa kumpokea mtoto ulitokana na muzigo. Haleluya. Wa roho mtakatifu. Haleluya. Ulitokana na that burden ya roho mtakatifu ya kuweza kuwatosheleza. Kwa sababu ya matendo mazuri ambayo waliyatenda kwa mtumishi wa Mungu Praise the name of the Lord There are seasons there are times there are moments kuna majira ambayo Mungu anatamani kutenda mema kuyatimiza yale ambayo ni muzigo katika moyo wake. Haleluya. Na majira haya ama nyakati hizi ambazo Mungu anatamani kuyatimiza yale ambayo ni muzigo katika moyo wake huwa anaandaa majira. Haleluya. Huwa anaandaa an atmosphere. Huwa ana prepare some people around your life praise the name of the lord na the worst thing that can happen kile kibaya ambacho kinaweza tendeka ni wewe kutokuwa na uwezo 
wa kutambua hawa watu kutambua haya majira praise the name of the lord kutambua hizi nyakati za Mungu za yeye kuweza kutimiza makusudi ya moyo wake na maisha yako unaweza kuwa umetosheleka unaweza kuwa uko sawa lakini katika moyo wa Mungu anajua ya kwamba mimi si uko sawa as long as this man will remain at this level because there is another level that I desire this man to be lakini yeye haoni so kwa kukufungua macho analeta mazingara fulani analeta watu fulani anafanya mambo fulani kutendeka katika maisha yako praise the name of the lord na wakati huo amewaleta hao watu amefanya hayo ma, majira kufika amekoroga mambo around you ni m, ili macho yako yaweze kufunguka praise the name of the lord ndio uweze kuona ni nini hicho unapaswa kufanya hallelujah it is called the power of perception it is a burden from god through the holy spirit amen for god to be able to fulfill specific desires of his heart in our lives bwana asifiwe it is a burden of the holy spirit ni mzigo wa roho mtakatifu na mimi ninaomba katika jina la yesu wakati wa maombi wakati wa kukesha in the presence of the lord wakati wa kuengage with the holy spirit ninaomba uwe dio wakati wa kutiwa mzigo wa kubebeshwa mzigo wa moyo wa Mungu kama ule Elisha alibebeshwa lakini Elisha hakebebeshwa ule mzigo kama yule mama hakujialign amen Elisha hakebebeshwa ule mzigo kama yule mama hakujiposition katika njia ambayo Mungu alikuwa ameikusudia njia ambayo Mungu alikuwa ameipangia praise the name of the lord i pray katika jina la Yesu na ninakuombea hata wewe umekuja hapa mispa hata wewe uko nyumbani pahali popote ulipo ninakuombea katika jina la Yesu ya kwamba whatever you do today may it align you to the will and to the desire of God so that the burden of God may be downloaded in your life that the purposes of God may be birthed praise the name of the Lord that God may usher you to your destiny kama huyu mama mshuneme ageigiaje hatima yake kama macho yake hayagefunguka aone ya kwamba huyu ni mtumishi wa Mungu na sio tu kuona huyu ni mtumishi wa Mungu kuweza kuwa ku, kuweza kuwa kujua ya kwamba hivi ndivyo napaswa kufanya ndio niweze kutap into the anointing that the man of God carries Are we together to that point? Praise the name of the Lord. Mungu aliwatoa in your comfort zone. Amewaleta katika this atmosphere ya uwepo wake. In this atmosphere of prayer, in this atmosphere of worship, in this atmosphere of intercession. Amen. You may have your own burden. Unaweza kuwa na mzigo wako. Kile unasikia ndani ya moyo wako lazima nikitoe bele za Bwana. Huo ni mzigo wako. Praise the name of the Lord. On the other hand, kuna mzigo wa Mungu. Kuna burden ya Mungu. Na hiyo ndio ambayo huwa ndio priority ya Mungu. Praise the name of the Lord. Hiyo ndio priority ya Mungu. Na wakati mwingi Mungu hukoroga mambo around us ambayo huwa yanatusukuma kuenda uweponi mwake. Na wakati tumefika in his presence hapo ndio huwa anapata a good atmosphere and a good opportunity ya kudownload his burden to us. Anakubebesha mzigo wake. Praise the name of the Lord. Yule mtoto 
In fact, yule mama hakuwa na haja na yule mtoto. Lakini Mungu alikuwa na haja na ye. I came to realize that man of God that Mungu anaweza kukupatia mtoto na wewe haukuwa na haja na yule mtoto. I think even in the physical. Hallelujah. Kwa sababu hata wakati yule mtoto alikufa <laughs> so baadaye yule mtoto alikuja na akafa. Wakati alikufa ali yule mama alitoka akaenda kutafuta mtu wa Mungu. Akamwambia yule mtoto ulie nisaidia nikapata amekufa. Sasa ujue vile utafanya ukuje umurejeshe uhai. Haleluya. Yule mtu wa Mungu akajaribu kusema kusema mama akamwambia pana tutaenda na wewe mpaka nyumbani. Definitely the man of God went and the child came back to life. Praise the name of the Lord. But I can tell you that miracle that happened. Those two miracles ya yule mtoto kuweza kuzaliwa kwa jia ya miujiza na yule mtoto kuweza kufufuliwa kwa jia ya miujiza dio ambayo iliweza kukaa katika historia ya mambo makubwa ambayo mtumishi wa Mungu Elisha aliweza kuyatenda it was one of the greatest miracles that this man of god did praise the name of the lord so hata kama yule mama hakuwa na haja na mtoto god was after a miracle amen god was after a testimony ambayo itakaa miaka na miaka na miaka ikionyesha utukufu wa Bwana ikionyesha nguvu za Bwana ikionyesha ushindi wa Bwana katika jina la Yesu na ninajua kuna watu Mungu amewarausha leo sio kwa sababu walikuwa wanataka kurauka lakini ni kwa sababu Mungu ako na haja na ushuhuda katika jina la Yesu najua kuna watu Mungu aliwaleta mispa sio kwa sababu walitaka kuja mispa lakini Mungu is after testimony i know god is after testimony through your life through the pain through the suffering kupitia hiyo mateso i know god is after a testimony ambayo itaka ita miaka na miaka na miaka kizazi na vizazi vitashuhudia ya kwamba kuna mzee ambaye kuna mama aliyetumainia bana na mambo makubwa yakatendeka mama aliyekesha akimuita bana mama aliyekesha akililia bana na mambo makubwa yakatendeka Praise the name of the Lord. Mungu kufuga stubo ya Hana. He was after testimony. He had a burden in his heart. Amen. Yes, Hana alikuwa na mzigo kuomba Mungu fungua tubo yangu. Lakini Mungu pia alikuwa na ushuhuda anatafutana naye. Amen. Si Mungu apate ushuhuda ndani ya maombi na maombezi yako katika jina la Yesu si ukuwa bwana uzalike ndani ya hayo mambo umekuja kuyaombea katika jina la Yesu mimi naomba Mungu atukuke ndani ya hayo mambo yanakaa ni ya mapepo yanakaa ni ya vifungo yanakaa ni ya kupeleka kaburini lakini ninaomba utukufu wa bwana udhihirike ndani ya hayo mateso ya shetani katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu you know the Shunammite woman she was comfortable in her barrenness but God was not comfortable because there was no testimony thereof maybe the mali alikuwa nayo was as a result of her hard work and God was not okay with that because it was not a testimony enough to bypass the generations but God knew through this family this ability that this woman has is my good opportunity for a miracle to be birthed in this family praise the name of the lord you have a potential that god can rely on for a miracle to be birthed for great wonders to be revealed and i pray in the name of jesus that today this hour that we have gathered in the presence of God you are burdened before the Lord 
will open up a door for a miracle katika jina la Yesu you are burdened before the father will open up a door for him to show what he can do great and mighty things things that he said they have not been heard katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu inua mkono wako mbele za bwana mwambie father i lay my burden to you 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 i need that power i need that ability i need that ability under this atmosphere my god my father may i be a carrier of this great miracle may i be the custodian of this great wonders katika jina la Yesu baba ninaomba katika jina la Yesu kupitia mzigo nilio nao katika moyo wangu wacha bana juzi itendeke wacha bana mambo makubwa yatimie wacha bana ushuhuda mkubwa utendeke katika jina la Yesu wacha kuwe na miujiza wacha kuwe na mambo makubwa katika jina la Yesu tunaona ewe bana uliweka ndani ya mama mzigo wa kushughulikia mtumeshu wa Mungu na kene ba kwa katika hiyo hali ya kushughulikia mtumeshi wa Mungu miujiza ikazalika mambo makubwa yakatendeka katika jina la Yesu hata sisi tunajua bana katika mzigo ambao uliweka ndani yetu wa kuombea taifa wa kuombea jamii zetu wa kuombea doa zetu wa kuombea maisha ya watu wengine bana ninajua ndani yake miujiza inatendeka mambo makubwa inatendeka najua bana utato koka katika jina la Yesu nasi bana tunaomba katika anga hii katika ndani ya anga hii ya maombi na maombezi tunaomba bana katika jina la Yesu utajetokoza katika jina la Yesu tunaomba bana kokaweza kuwa na ushuhuda kokawe na ushuhuda kokawe na ushuhuda kokawe na ushuhuda kokawe na ushuhuda mambo makubwa itendeke mambo makubwa itemie mambo makubwa itendeke katika jina la Yesu we give you father God all the glory we give you honor in the mighty name of Jesus karosa karaba sepiremia shetana masoka taba katika jina la Yesu in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus i want to believe that all of us mungu anaachilia hiyo uweza wa kuona huo uweza wa kujua huo uweza wa kutambua katika jina la Yesu majira na masaa ya Mungu kuweza kuachilia muzigo wa moyo wake katika maisha yetu katika jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus inua mkono wako mwambie bana may i be the carrier of your burden may i be the carrier of your burden may i be the carrier of your burden katika jina la Yesu nikaweze kuwa wa kubeba mzigo wako ninaomba roho wa Mungu akaweza kunijukumisha akaweza kunibebesha mzigo wa moyo wako katika jina la Yesu the burden of your heart the burden of your heart may lord be, may i be the carrier of the burden of your heart in the name of jesus 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 kasota raba kasota riba sokatama le kasakatana ma ata wale wana tazama bana na kubebesha mzigo bana na kubebesha mzigo bana na kubebesha mzigo na ninajua dani ya huo mzigo ambao unaubeba kumefichika miujiza ya bana kumefichika miujiza ya bana kumefichika miujiza ya bana katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu o oh, father May you locate every intercessor that is in this sanctuary. They have carried the burdens of their families. They have carried the burdens of their ministries. Oh Father, they have carried the burdens of this nation. Ninaomba katika jina la Yesu, out of this burden, may a miracle be birthed katika jina la Yesu. Out of this burden, ninaomba neema ya Bwana idhirike. Out of this burden, Ninaomba ukuwa bana udhihirike out of this burden ninaomba ushidi wa bana udhihirike katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu the favor that located the Shunammite woman i declare may it locate you kibali cha mbongo 
kerecho mfikia yule mama mshunemu ninaomba kikufikia wewe ninaomba kikufikia wewe ninaomba kikufikia wewe ninaomba kiwe juu yako kiwe juu yako kiwe juu yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo we love your father and we bless you and we honor your father we also pray for a restoration for all that neglected the assignment all ambao waliweka huu mzigo wakaweka chini ninaomba bwana that they shall be restored utawabebesha tena ninaomba roho wa Mungu akawabebesha tena huu mzigo katika jina la Yesu huu mzigo ambao waliweka chini kwa sababu ya disappointments kwa sababu ya frustrations kwa sababu ya pain ambayo wanaipitia ninaomba bana ukawabebesha na ninawaambia neema ninawaambia neema ya kubeba mzigo huu ninawaambia neema ya kubeba huu mzigo katika jina la Yesu kama uko hapa ulibebeshwa mzigo kama ule yule mama mshunemu alibebeshwa wa kushughulika na kazi ya Mungu wa kufanya mambo ambayo yanamtukuza bana lakini shetani akakuletea strife akakuletea discouragement na ule mzigo ukauweka chini ninaomba katika jina la Yesu roho wa Mungu akutembelee roho wa Mungu akushukie katika jina la Yesu na ukachukue ule mzigo tena may you take up the burden katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu take up the burden 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 ulikuwa wa kuamka mapema na kuombea jamii ulikuwa wa kuamka mapema na kuombea taifa leo huo mzigo haupo tena ninaomba katika jina la Yesu make the lord release an ability to take up the burden kwa sababu ndani ya ule mzigo miujiza yako imefichika ndani mambo makubwa yamefichika ndani ukuwa bwana umefichika ndani ninaomba hautatenganishwa na yale makusudi ya bwana hautatenganishwa na makusudi ya bwana katika jina la Yesu Oh Father we bless you Father we honor you and God we glorify your name katika jina la Yesu na kwa hivyo bwana tunakutukuza na tunakuinua na tunasema unastahili na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini Amen 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 Thank you for watching this program We believe this prophetic message has transformed your life. If you would like to partner with us, please contact us on the numbers on your screen.